give it a thousand days, man, before you quit. Now I got this. I won't take full credit from this. I actually seen this, this quote from uh, Dan Martell, man, but it's so impactful, man, because I just look at my journey with this YouTube series. I've got recently into MMA. I've recently, or not recently, but over at least two years or a year and a half have taken my fitness way more seriously. I am very, very, very strong about this theory about just give it a thousand days before you quit. Now, when I first made the series, I think on the first episode I made, I had maybe, I had less than 100 subscribers and we're right now almost at 300 episodes, almost coming around a year. And I'm now, I pretty much, if we do the math, doubled or tripled my subscriber count, which I'm very thankful for. I appreciate everyone who watches these videos, man. It means a lot. Whenever I see my views continue to rise, whenever I see my subscribers continue to rise, it gives me a sense of you know, I'm moving towards the right direction. Although I got way more to improve, I still got a way more to improve. But when I first made that video, man, I was like, I'm gonna give it a thousand days. I'm gonna this this entire series of what I'm doing right now about you know, hopefully becoming a millionaire in a thousand days already close to 300 days in, I've seen significant progress, at least when it has came to the following count and my view count on YouTube. And I'm only like 300 episodes in. And the thing about YouTube is that it's kind of like a snowballing effect. When you start to pick up some momentum, you start getting more eyeballs and you start getting pushed more into the algorithm. But even when I compare it to my fitness goal, man, a lot of you guys are trying to get into shape. There's so many people out here that try to sell you the lie. You can get into the best possible shape in your life in 90 days or 60 days. But the truth is, man, unless you have had previous experience, you have a good starting point, you have the discipline and habits on point already, it's very unlikely you're going to get your end desired physique in 60 to 90 days, man. And if you do, it may not be sustainable for you because you have made such a drastic change in your life without slowly easing into it that the second you know you actually get your goal you may fall off it's it's the same reason why a lot of people who win the lottery end up broke years later is because they didn't have the correct money spending habits when when they're given everything they don't know how, they, they they weren't able to manage a thousand dollars so they can't manage a million dollars and the same thing when it comes to your physique if you're not able to manage you know being in that desired physique and state that you ultimately want to be in year round then eventually you will fall off all right so it's better to ease into it but if you gave yourself a thousand days to go after your fitness goal man a thousand fucking days i promise bro in three years time bro you would be more than happy with the progress you've made it towards your fitness goal i don't even think i put like I've been working on my physique for a while, but I don't think I've touched a thousand days yet. And I'm more than happy from where I first started when I was skinny fat and had like, you know, a stomach, some titties, my arms were skinny, all the, I had narrow shoulders, I had love handles and all that, like to where I am now, I'm more than happy with the amount of progress I made. I may not be the most jacked motherfucker on the internet, but I'm happy with my progress, man. And it, it's only going to continue to improve, especially because we're on this bulk. You guys have been watching the YouTube shorts. You guys have seen me posting regularly about my workouts and what I'm eating. But one thing I also have been putting this theory behind is just even MMA, man. I've recently gotten to, I recently signed up to an MMA gym, maybe like a month and a half ago at this point. And I've been going pretty consistently. Like I would say somewhere between the ranges of four to seven days a week, just depending on my schedule. You guys know I'm I'm working three different jobs and sometimes uh, on the weekends I don't have time to get a session in. But generally during the week, Monday to Friday, I'll get at least uh, most of the time I'll get like two sessions in. And that's training both the striking and then also the grappling. Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu, if anyone out there knows Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu, you guys know the skill gap for that is absolutely insane. Like I was the first like month I was absolutely getting destroyed every single day when i came to class and we were rolling and like i'm still getting destroyed now but a month and a half in i'm like okay i don't absolutely suck like i know how to 
do the very basics. And if I'm versing another white belt, I can hold my own for a bit. Okay. But, and I think there are a lot of reasons why people end up quitting these MMA classes because the skill gap is so large that they're not willing to endure. They think that they can just go into a fight gym and just ultimate and become like a UFC motherfucking fighter in like a couple months or like a couple weeks like nah bro the skill gap for fighting is insane like and that's the beauty of it too because once you actually obtain those a thousand days some motherfucker that comes into the gym you will absolutely destroy them because you've put the thousand days in and that's where i'm and that's where the mentality i came in when i first signed up to the gym i'm like i'm gonna give it a thousand days i'm gonna train for three years consistently man and by the end of three years, I should be somewhat decent and be able to defend myself in a real life scenario, which I definitely think I will. Like even just going to these classes, I've realized how the most un like the average person is because the average person is untrained. So I'm just imagining myself three years from now, I'll be able to, you know, if if I'm not saying I'm going to go out here and fight motherfuckers, but. I'm saying that if in the unlikely scenario I get into an altercation, I will feel confident within my skill to be able to defend myself. And, you know, I'd rather have it and not use it than not know it and then have to use it one day. You never know what could happen, man. You never know. And plus, man, I wanted to make a video about, like, you know, some of the great things I've experienced so far from MMA. But I feel like it's too early. But I'm definitely going to make a video about that sometime later down the line. But I know I'm kind of going all over the place with this, man. But I'm I'm going into this with, I'm going to do this for a thousand fucking days. A thousand days, man. You don't understand how much can change in a thousand days. Look at your life three years ago and to where you are now. It may be way worse than it was before, or it may be way better. The point is, man, a lot of us will overestimate how much we can actually accomplish in a short amount of time frame versus we underestimate how much we can actually accomplish in year in a year's time man bro we're coming up to a year with the series and i've changed a lot from the way i talk even my appearance and just overall the message i convey from the first episode i dropped to now and that's only like 300 days in i still have another 600 left so what we can get get from today's video man is that whether you're going after a fitness goal business goal school goal career goal Maybe you're into MMA too and you have, you want to perhaps, you know, enter a competition, get first place, whatever the case may be, man. Put a thousand days in, okay, before you quit. Once you put a thousand days in and you don't, and you're not happy with where you are, then, okay, you can actually tell people you try to do that. And when you tell people, yeah, I tried to do it for three years, people will give you respect. I will give so much someone way more respect if they told me they were trying to become a professional fighter and they were going serious for three years and a motherfucker who's like oh i'm gonna try to become a professional fighter and then like a month later he just quits like bro you just be like what the fuck like it tells you all about their character man all right so give it a thousand days before you quit i promise you by the time you get the thousand day you'll be so fucking happy with your progress and then by then man if you put a thousand days in you'll be a completely different human being and you're more likely going to continue it and you're not going to fucking give yourself a false hope that you're ultimately going to change in just a couple months, man. It is possible. I'm not saying it's impossible, guys. But what I'm saying is that for the average person, they overestimate how much they can actually accomplish in a short amount of time frame, okay? I don't want to leave you guys with disappointment. I want you guys to continue to get better year after year after year. Life is fucking long, bro. If you're like me right now, I'm 23, bro. I should be able to live, especially because I'm so into fitness, at least a fucking 80. So I have another fucking close to 60 years, bro. I'm not in a fucking rush, bro. I know when things are right, things will add up and, you know, the time will come. But I want the time for you guys to come too. So start fucking now, put in your 1,000 days. And then after 1,000 days, if it doesn't work out or maybe you hate it or maybe it's just not for you, then quit. But you can at least say you fucking tried, man. It's, instead of being one of those pussies who are like yeah i tried it for a month and i gave up bro all right that being said man i hope you guys enjoyed today's video we're gradually growing this channel man i really would appreciate if you guys could like subscribe to the channel and also let me know your thoughts in the comments below if you guys want me to talk about anything specifically when it comes to fitness or mindset let me know in the comments below i love to make videos to help you guys out but i can only help you guys out if you guys comment below on what you guys are struggling with and i can give you guys my personal experience of what i would personally do all right with that being said man i'm gonna catch you guys in the next video